and hello guys welcome back to another different year to video my name is jimmy shreds and today i decided to revisit or shall i say remake the beginner's guide project zero i've deleted the character this is fresh new start so new beginning uh why because everything back then when i started is was in 2020 and it was all outdated so that's pretty much i decided like we all the changes we did inventory and everything i was like i'm gonna make serious you know i'm gonna start serious again explain everything with all the changes so people can know and understand so we have made uh, our new character and uh, we have a second character as well which we're gonna be using for the storage i'm gonna explain you how it function how it's uh, working so pretty much the second character uh you can use car as a storage private trades and market slots as uh, your storage as your account search pretty much that's how you can use it and here we're going to be using this as a main character we're going to be playing on this one so i'm going to get inside of a game and start explaining uh everything in details as much as i can i'm also going to start the music here we go okay so we are inside the double police department which is level one area located right here you have three outposts on the map we have Dalbo, you have haverbrook and you have gravewood uh this is low level where you're starting out this is medium and this is end game outpost currently so what we have here as you can see we have mailbox account stash some npcs notice board outpost leader trader so all these npcs you see with the exclamation mark they have a quest for you so you can talk to these guys and then have a quest as you can see it gives you everything in details in text right and now when you got the quest you press tab and you go mission log and as you can see it's, it's here and it says what i need to do blah 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 right if you want to see where is it located it's right here as you can see the map so the quest area is going to be um in the green so that's the easiest uh, way for you to you know find out if you're like oh where it is just press the map and you'll find it okay so as i said these are npcs with the um, exclamation mark they'll have quests uh trainer to this guy you can talk if you want to do a skill reset which costs which is free for us because we didn't uh, use free one but if you do not have a free one it's gonna cost you 100. the other thing what you can do is create a clan which costs you 1 million then we have a cosmetic trader which you can buy credits uh which uh, where you can buy cosmetic set we have trader which you can buy the goods you know weapons meds you know this game is a has a player driven market so everything that you see in the market is by selling by some player is selling it and you have outpost leader which is chief banks uh he'll give you some quests and as you can see he says go outside kill some infected returns of chief banks in double police department double and uh, receive a reward blah, blah 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 okay we're gonna do that but here's our account stash as you can see uh when if you do not have any account upgrades you're gonna have 40 account stash if you have account upgrade you'll have more account stash more character slots more private trades more market slots uh each account upgrade costs 500 credits which you can find in your um character selection uh screen now here we have a workbench which uh we use for crafting items and repairing items currently we do not have anything to repair so there is not an option for that but when you go to the crafting screen as you can see these are the things that we can craft less birthday cake and some items right uh okay notice board this is where you can compete for the credits if you want you have daily weekly monthly and you have for xp looting bosses uh, pvp uh, missions and purple zones each uh, leaderboard gives a different uh, uh sorry each like for the daily one you'll get 100 for the weekly if you win you get 400 uh, and for the monthly you get 1.5k uh, and uh, also you have all time grinder if you want to see who's at the top now the next thing i want to talk about is the trader here you have filters which you can use so you can get and find things easier example 
example weapon we're searching for some weapon oh, let's go like pistol and we're level one max level okay as you can see it's gonna sort it's gonna list uh it's gonna list out the pistols that we can buy that are maximum level one right now here you can choose which grade you want so i just want to give you example i just want to uh, explain it this it doesn't mean if the item is elite that it's better than rare because what matters is the stats you have and how high are the stats the lines and percentages that's what matters the difference is rare item can have three to four lines while elite can have five to six unique items uh they can have up to depends some some can have i think seven if i remember correctly and they have already set um, stats you cannot uh, you cannot get random stats on the unique item like the unique items already have set stats fixed stats and that's how it is while with rare if you use elite enhancer example and make it uh, elite you, you'll get one to uh sorry you can get two to three extra stats uh and they're random and some of the uh, stats will go up and so i'll say the same depends on the percentages but let's move on with the starting things what you want to do so first things first what you want to do is talk to the outpost leader get this quest okay get all the quests from these guys here which we're gonna go to the notice board and we're gonna click this start all missions here so when you get to the notice board you can do that you can start all missions here so you don't have to worry about that also you can hand in all missions now i'm gonna press the map and as you can see you can see where our quests in the green uh, squares that's where our quests are uh, so we're gonna do first what is outpost leader gonna what do you say he wants us to okay, kill some zombies okay let's go outside oh yeah before that before that uh, some settings that you want to do if you have a potato pc everything uh, off except the blood effects um where is it remove bodies and uh we sync on everything else have off to the lowest as possible uh, you're gonna have a lot of vision in the game and your game is gonna look very potato but you have a lot of vision if you when i have uh still decent vision and you don't want game your game to look potato you can have shadows and textures shader as me to the highest possible and the settings you want to have on is vertical sync hd on right when i have remove bodies anti-aliasing when i have ambient occlusion depth of field and when i have lighting with uh, blood effects so those are the settings you want to have if you want to have some kind of a decent looking game and still want to have a decent vision also why these type of settings with ambient occlusion you are going to be able to see the boss called hysteric which for some people it's quite terrible some but you'll see how we deal with him and you'll have much easier time seeing him or you can play the game as i am i'm playing everything pretty much maxed out except uh, motion blur everything on because i want my game to be hard and i want my game to look good because i played this game for a very very long time and i know what i'm doing so okay now first off we're gonna start with the skills what skills you want to pick and how how to decide okay so as starters currently the best guns you can either spec into is rifle or pistol rifles currently have the cheapest ammo and they're i mean they're not easy but they're not i mean out of all weapons currently that we have i would say uh rifles are currently the hardest to play definitely out of all guns out of all guns sorry pistol is definitely the easiest one currently because pistols have instant aim so when you are starting out you want to choose you want to know what you're going to go for you don't want to have five weapon experts example submachine gun expert shotgun rifle pistol assault rifle no you're choosing one so we're going to choose between pistol or rifle so one of those two we're going to be going for i don't i can't decide yet but most likely rifle so the first skill you want to decide for is your mobility skill you either go sprinter or you go jogger completely up to you i prefer sprinter i was always a sprinter i just like sprint uh sprinter is 1.5 times faster than jogger but it's costlier to build have that in mind jog has only one stat which is much easier to build around while well, sprint triple stats can be quite troublesome but still we're gonna go for sprinter here bang our first skill point 
Okay, we're now gonna get out and start smashing some zombies. Right, as you can see, we are outside. This is how the game looks like. This is our car. The storage inside here, okay. Where is... Oh, there we go. There is a lady. Okay, so... When you're fighting zombies, what you want to do is you right click and then 180. Sorry, 90. Keep doing that. If you're using melee weapons, you do not want to do this. Don't do this. I mean, you can do left click as well, but I highly advise you to do right click. So left click is kind of like you're not going to move too much forward, but right click, look at that. You see, like a character moves much more forward than it does with the left click. So what I want to do is keep repeating this, what I'm doing. But you only need the high sensitivity. Hopefully you're not low sense player. I'm some, somewhere like in the middle, let us say. Bang. These zombies are not some kind of a threat. They're currently very easy to deal with, so you don't have to worry about it. Even if you get, uh, get uh, hit by them, you're going to be fine. They do not deal a lot of damage in the low uh, zones currently also the skills you the skills that our character has passive skills there we go you see what i did i dodged so our space bar is dodge skill which when we press the enemies cannot damage us for the period of time while we're in a dodge there's also cooldown, which you can find at your full stats for your dodge, which is right here. Dodge cooldown 10 seconds. So it's 10 seconds for our dodge cooldown to, you know, so we can dodge again. Okay, I think we've killed all zombies, but let's kill this one as well. Dodge, bang. So what you can do, as you can see what I'm, what I'm doing, you can right click and press uh, space at the same time, which you'll hit the enemy and you'll dodge. So that's also a good trick that you can use. Okay, we have done that. We're gonna go inside, talk to the chief banks. Okay, there we go. Got some XP leveled up. Want to salute five items and then come back. So you definitely want to follow uh, Chief Banks' Alpha Slater quest that he has. Do all the quests he has, all the way until you get the gold, uh, no, Grave Digger, sorry. So do all these quests. The next skill we're gonna go for is... Hmm. Well, definitely do not go for the Weapon Expert skill, because you currently, until you do not get the weapons. As I said, I highly advise you to go either Pistol or Rifle. But our next skill that we're gonna go for is, for me, is gonna be Marksman. Okay, um... Uh, Get that, bang. Now we are more accurate. I mean, with the pistol, as you can see, the aim is instant. So there's there's really not much to talk about. It's the only thing what is going to improve with yeah, the pistol expert and marksman. The cross here is going to get so much smaller and you're going to be so much more accurate. So pistols are the currently the most accurate weapon uh, as soon as you start aiming. Like as soon as you aim, pistols are the best. Like if you just want to have it the easy way uh right so the next thing is we have to loot five items we're gonna do so find some building so yeah this is like uh look at this thing guys as um doing a gameplay while explaining you everything so this is how it how it is for those of you who didn't watch my um beginners guide project zero like the previous one so pretty much gameplay and explaining stuff what we're doing okay we got some wine we'll take that and now get inside harry's household so you, you've seen how this um building looks like this is a small building and when you are looting it's very good to do this type of buildings because you can get to the, this type of doors very easy that is that is the uh key room and once you find the key in find inside of that uh, room you'll find loot superior rare you can find some good items inside so going inside of small buildings is definitely a good thing especially if you're new to the game because you can get you know some good items if, you, if you're lucky of course 
so uh, also what I forgot to mention, left control is sneaking. While you're sneaking, uh, the enemies will not spot you in... There's certain range, which you can see, like, it says... There we go. Visibility... Sorry, wrong one. Uh, sneak visibility range, 5 meters, because we do not have any skill points into the sneak. Uh, sorry, stealth. So the enemies will spot us in the radius of 5 meters. They will not hear your... Um, you do not make any footsteps while you're sneaking, so you don't have to worry about that. But the enemies will, if you get too close to them, if they, if you'll be in front of them, they'll spot you. The great thing about sneaking is, if you're using melee weapons, uh, this is uh, not a zombie. I'll show you as soon as uh, we get the zombie. So when you're sneaking, there is, a, there is a surprise damage. Which you can see on the melee weapons, when you go right here. As you can see, it says, surprise attack damage, 10. When you go to the full stats... Uh, it's still 10 because we do not have any items, but I always advise you to check it at the full stats. Don't like look here. Uh, don't look at your inventory. Go full stats and here you can see all the damage that, you know, all everything combined. So you can see how much your weapon is uh, dealing, what amount of damage. Right. So first we're going to go inside this door. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to show you how great stealth is. Bang. See, she down. Otherwise, it'll take us three hits to kill her. Dang, same. So that's why stealth is very good. In lower level areas, you can try to... Oh, nice. We found the brass key. Let's go. There we go, guys. Uh, in lower level areas, uh, as I said, you don't have to really worry about the enemies much. They're really, really easy. I'll, I'll, while I'm playing, I'll explain which enemies you'll have to watch out for. Getting some water. Getting really thirsty while talking. Okay, so, also, how I like to do it, when I get inside of a building, no matter what type of building it is, I always go left, left, then when there is stairs, I do not go stairs, and I go this door, right? So, I don't have to check a map non-stop if I have done something, and I save myself time. You'll see later on, when you get more into the game, when you get faster, when you will be able to loot faster, search faster, we'll see how much... That'll help you, actually, that tactic that I've been using since the day one that I'm playing the game. Because back then, we didn't have the map. You get inside, you have no clue where yet. So we didn't have a map, guys. So this helps a lot. I mean, if, if your memory is quite good, you won't even need it. But still, I advise you to do this tactic because it's it's very useful. And, it, and it's easy. Once you get used to it, you're like, going to be taking pretty much everything, whatever we can. I'm gonna sell it. Meds, we'll try to keep those. I highly advise you to keep bandages, burn skits, uh, iodines, and antibiotics, because you'll always need them. I do not advise you to sell them, unless you have really, really, really a uh, bunch of them, and then you can sell them, if you really need money. Okay, here we go. She spotted us. As you've seen, we were crouching, and still, she was able to see us, because we were, we were, oh, she's gonna get, oh, okay, we're good. Almost got hit because uh, we were in the in, in her uh, vision so that's why oh my bad go okay now let's see what we got oh, there's another one okay, let's get music playing back i forgot there we go yeah, let's see what we get, guys. Superior iron pipe. Find rare item chance in inventory. I mean, that's definitely better than the uh, than the two by four we have. Slower attack speed, but we do not have negative stats. So, hey, we're definitely taking that. Look at that sprint speed. Oof, the worst we could. Uh, we're gonna keep that and we're gonna scrap that at trader also forgot uh, to tell you about that you can scrap items at the trader and you know like picking up items like example you don't want to be picking up damage items you definitely don't want to be doing that uh for the money i will not be picking up items currently like when we in low level like common is i guess you can pick it up but super Peers like should be the lowest if you really if you're a loot goblin you can really go for the common ones but i think you should do 
more than fine with the superior items because you'll be finding a lot of items you'll see by yourself so you see these uh, three question marks this means we are in front of the uh, boss room we're gonna fight the boss as soon as we are finished with the building i gonna loot everything first oh my bad what is that have in mind iron pipe has a slower attack speed so watch out if you miss if you do mistake but we deal more damage so that's a good thing slightly higher uh, damage okay and also as i said try to use the tactic i i sometimes forgot to use it Because later on, if you'll be using melee weapons, trust me, you won't be using that tactic. The faster, the sooner you get uh, used to doing it, uh, doing uh, doing that tactic, you'll you'll have easier time. Trust me. The, the faster you get used to it, the better. Okay, I'm gonna go to toilet. Or restroom, however you want to say it. Okay, no zombos. It will head, I guess we'll take that. We'll just we'll just put it for the looks, I guess. There we go. And we have found our first weapon and it's shotgun. We do not have any shotgun ammo currently, but we'll keep that. Oh, one more floor before we go to the boss. Let's get her. Bang. Okay, this one is not. Uh, also, you saw you saw what I did now. So when you are in stealth mode, and we press dodge spacebar, you can uh, you can you can uh, still not be seen while you're in a dodge animation. So that's a great way for you know for you if you need to get by some enemy or something if you want really fast uh also left alt is your kick uh make sure you use it when you get surrounded or crowded by the zombies yeah you know it'll get you out of sticky situations it's really really good um good uh, passive skill okay here we are uh in front of the uh, boss room i'm gonna go inside and here we go this is our boss uh she does not run or anything like that. Uh, if you want, you can try to kill her with the melee, which I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna clear the zombies first. That's my advice for you. Always clear the room first, especially if you're fairly new to the game, still learning the game so you do not die, you do not waste resources, which are very, very important to you, trust me. The money might be hard to get uh, on the lower levels, but once you get to the higher levels, you should should be making quite a lot of cash. And also, this game is a grind, guys. Have that in mind. You, it's very repetitive and very grinding. Okay, so us watch that. And we got him. Okay. Now let's shoot her. Oh, we just leveled up. Go for those juicy headshots. And there you go. So, when you kill the boss, as you can see, she... She uh, spawned those worms. So watch out for those. They do not deal much damage, but... Still, if you're low on health, when there's like... Two or three of them, well, they can stack up a lot of damage. So watch out for those. And let's see what we got from her. Rare 2x4, which we are going to definitely sell. Okay. Also, when you kill the boss, remember, you always have a second loot spot. So do not get out before searching for the second loot spot. As you can see... Oh, nice. There we go. As you can see, uh, the loot is... The outline of the loot is uh, uh, in yellow color. So you can always see the... When you see the yellow outline on the on the f uh, furniture or on the enemy you know there is a loot so we got rare cz83 which is better than what we have i'm gonna be using that definitely and also you see that 
So that she got through the door. So watch out for that. The enemies can get through the door. But if you are standing at the door, you are blocking the door and the enemies cannot get in there. Except for the stalker. He'll get in there, but we'll talk about him when we when we get him. Get to meet him. Okay, uh, another skill we have marksman. So the next skill I would go for is I think I'm gonna go for hmm. Yeah, definitely if you're gonna going for rifles, I'm gonna pick quick shot here. I think that's very, very important here. There we go. Here on the pistol, it's not gonna have any effect. I mean it gives attack speed, as you can see. So the only reason why quick shot is good is because of attack speed. I mean for the rifles, aim speed helps as well, and for your shotguns a bit. But for pistols, really no help because instant aim. Okay, so we have killed the boss. We have killed our first boss. Now we're gonna go back to the outpost, hand in the quest, and follow the quest what uh, Chief Banks is gonna give us. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm kind of not feeling the best. Kind of, I'm still kind of sick. For those of you who have seen the update. On the um, that I've posted on Discord, so yeah, um, I might miss some things. I'm really I'm gonna try my best, but if I miss some things, I'll try to uh, to cover them in the next episode. Get yeah, this guy. Yeah, there we go. And I wasted time there. I should have not done that. But yeah, anyways, I'm not going to be cutting anything here. Uh, this is going to be full gameplay, no cuts. Uh, so you can see everything that I'm doing. So you can see how we're progressing in the game and, and everything. I want you to see everything, guys. Okay, uh, we are inside here. And let's see. Bang. There we go. Yeah. The next thing is list an item for sale. Okay, so we're going to list an item at our trader. So what are we gonna sell, guys? Let's sell this wine, 126. We're gonna sell R for 100. So somebody gonna buy it soon. Okay, uh, we're gonna sell another one. Uh, we're gonna scrap these. So yeah, by holding Shift, when when uh, if you wanna, um, oh God, if you wanna select multiple items, I. I forgot the uh, English. Uh, if you want to select multiple items, uh, you hold shift and you just click on the items. So example, this is what I did. I have selected three items and then you right click, you can sell or scrap. So we're going to scrap these two items and we're going to get 400. There we go. Uh, peanut butter, uh, you can also sell that if you want. It's not selling for much, but let's sell it for 250. Oh, wrong number. It's really easy to find food, so you should not be worried about it, trust me. Uh, 556, we're gonna keep that because we're gonna be using rifles. Shotgun, I'll keep that for now. Okay. Uh, now we just gotta wait for items to sell. And and also, when you sell items, you check mailbox. And here, you're gonna see all the items that you have sold. Also, people can send you message and or money. So you can find all of those things inside of here. Okay. Uh, we didn't sell anything. Okay, uh, I guess let's try to quick sell. Uh, 200. Sell this for very cheap. 60. Hey. Just want to do a quest. Come on, game. I guess we'll sell this. Well, we can sell items as fast as possible. Uh, I would usually keep them, as I said, but... Ah, uh, and uh, stuck here. We get the music back. You think you can survive out there? Ah, uh, man, come on, guys. Hi. Oh wait, we had to list, not sell. Oh god, my bad. Scrap an item at the trader. 
we are gonna scrap this Redfield Citori. Bang. Okay. Okay, uh, now he want us to buy Redfield Citori shotgun from the trader. What can I do for you? Do it like this. There we go. This is the cheapest one. Get that thing. We got some 20 gauge. Just follow what he's saying. Now he wants us to equip it. Bang. Got some ammo. Reload that. Good. Got some XP. Okay, now he wants us to fight a boss. So we need to find the boss. And then we get back to him. Also, as you can see, there we go. Sold some items. Alright, our cash is up at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna remove that. Definitely keep the shotgun with us. Keep band-aids. Uh and we can get moving. Let's get the boss. Let's kill the boss. Also, when you're starting out, the game is very, very slow paced. Uh, it's the game will be very, very boring again. So it uh, starts. So have that in mind, guys. Uh, I'm gonna find. I need to find the small house, as I said. Mm go up here maybe we can find a restaurant or something we can get fast access to the boss and always there you go yellow outline always check for the loot guys especially when you nice we found some fuel our first fuel guys let's go and as you can see on the top left when you sell the item you'll get uh, you'll get notified you'll say it like that you have a new message from system and the biotics has sold so when you sell the items that's how it works oh there we go some restaurant so when you see uh buildings like these these are like restaurants and uh it can be a restaurant market uh, white doors are markets, brown ones are like uh, restaurants, diners, you know, cafes and such. So we're gonna get inside Antonia's outlet and we're gonna go straight to the boss so we can do the quest. Let's see what our boss is. And okay, there we go. There she is. I'm gonna use a pistol here. Because why not? Let's speed the process up. The ammo is really not that hard to find. Uh, later on, you should watch out on what you're spending ammo, definitely. But 132 ACP is really easy to get, so you should not be worried, guys. And it's cheap. You can find plenty on the market. Now, what we're gonna do is use our shotgun. Show you how it works. Uh, have in mind, we do not have any skills for the shotguns, so we're gonna be super, super uh, inaccurate. So have that in mind. You wanna go for the headshot usually, but as you can see, she has bones, which means we are not gonna go for a headshot. We're gonna go for the leg. I'm gonna try to de leg her. She is okay. Always focus on the one leg, and there we go. We got her on the ground. We crippled her, and now. We can play with her. We, she is not threat to us. We're gonna kill this guy. Her. And there we go. Just like that. Uh, if she, if the enemy does not have bones like this, right? Uh, those are spined enemies. Uh, you can definitely go for the headshot here, but. As, as you saw, she had uh, bones, and so we went for something else. Okay, we sold peanut butter. Uh, definitely better than what we have, so please give it to us. There we go. We're going to scrap that one as well. Uh, get back our pistol. Load that, and we leveled up. So the next skill we're going to go for is definitely reloading. 
so we can reload a bit faster. And extra ammo in the mag. There we go. And as I said, do not forget to check the second loot spot. And we got... Okay. Doesn't look that bad. We can scrap that, I guess. Sold some items. And time to go back. Also, what you can do when you open the map, you left click and you get the marker. So, if you have a certain location where you want to get to, you can left click on the map when you open it and it'll get marked like that. It's only visible for you. Uh, if you're playing with somebody, won't be able to, uh, they won't be able to see that, so have that in mind. Take that for scrap. Almost there. So, also there is uh, one trick that you want to do before uh, handing in missions. If you have some XP items, example, items with XP, you want to equip items before handing in missions at the outpost. Uh, notice board or NPC, however you like to do it. It's, it's I, I need to get used to uh, giving uh, missions, doing them at the notice board as well, handing mission, bang. So you can hand all missions at the same time here. And if you have uh, equipped some XP gear, like example, you can have XP on your hat, uh, on your um, hands, your weapons. So, example, if you have 20% XP gain, right? It's gonna increase all the XP gain on our missions when we give them in. But you can equip those items before giving in those items. So, that's the trick. So, make sure you use that. Okay, let's see what we sold. Bang. Here's another quest. Hey, he wants us to help the other survivors. And... Return back, then we're gonna receive Grave Digger, which is a melee weapon. Excellent melee weapon, okay? So, Help. we're gonna scrap some items. Bang, scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. Oh, we're gonna store some items that we do not need. Fill, we can put that in the car. Okay, keep these. Uh, okay, getting inside here. Uh, so, you can use car. I'm going to refuel. So, you can use car as a storage as well. As you can see, it has 15 slots. Uh, the better the better car components you have, uh, the more car storage you have. You'll use less, um, less uh, fuel to travel and such. Uh, there is... Only few locations where you can travel to, and it's like, you cannot just get teleported. There is like, you cannot drive a car, currently, at least in the game. So you have Haverbrook, Memorial Hospital, and you have Braywood. And the third thing you cannot see, uh, which is uh, PvP grounds, if I remember right. I don't know why we do not see it, but anyways. So you can either travel to Haverbrook or Greywood. And... I do not advise you to do it yet uh, when you're such a low level. I would not be moving to Haverbrook until level 15. If you really want to go, you know, as early, level 15, but preferably be level 20 when you're moving to Haverbrook. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope uh, I was able to explain most important things uh, in this episode as i tried to remember and as i said the things that i forgot we are going to be explaining everything through the as we are progressing through the more gameplays uh, in for through the more future episodes i'll try my best to do so i really hope you enjoyed it and uh yeah i'm uh you know i'm i'm happy to you know doing uh be doing uh, this again as 
I think it's gonna be very helpful to new players. So yeah, I'm not gonna keep it uh, any longer. I'm gonna leave socials down below. Um, my Discord, make sure you join. If you wanna talk with the rest community while I'm offline, when I'm not streaming and such. Um, currently, I, I'm deciding where I'm gonna stream. Uh, I was on Kick, I was, first I was on Twitch, I was on Kick, I was on Trovo. Uh, I was everywhere, right? And I changed so many platforms in past few years. And I was uh, lately on Kick, and I decided to move on uh, from Kick because, you know, gamers are just uh, not uh, not the prioritized currently gaming streams. So yeah, I'm I'm deciding: will I go back to Twitch or will I stream on YouTube? So keep an eye on Discord and on my YouTube channel in the community post. I'll notify you there as well if will I move. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video of the Frontier 2 guys. Till next time. Peace. Love you all.